This is Jodhpur city also known as the sun city of the state of Rajasthan. It is also one of the drier regions in western India. Historically the land just outside of Jodhpur is known as Marubhumi. In Sanskrit that means the land of the dead. A place where it's difficult to imagine the existence of any kind of forest. But here in the village of Sangasini, a young couple has transformed one part of this Marubhumi into Maruvan, a unique forest of the desert. So if we call forest, everything imagine, everyone imagines like it's all green, it should be like that, it should be green wall kind of thing. And that's not how the forest exists here. So the potential natural vegetation of this space was mostly grasslands and shrublands and thorny bushes. So we wanted it to be like when we people take the name of it, it should generate a certain image in their head. And that's why we called it Maruan, like the forest of the desert. It's not, it, it won't be green, it's mostly brown. Uh, it's white and different distinct and it's very scattered canopy forest. Maruvan is an initiative of A Forest, an organization that works to rewild native forests and restore natural ecosystems around the world. So far, A Forest has rewilded over 130 diverse native forests across India. They have also worked with countries like Singapore, Iran and the Netherlands. So yeah, this is Kher, uh, which I was talking about. This is a very, very slow growing species. Gaurav Gurjar is the jungle tree expert who leads this unique ecological experiment for a forest. In 2018, he moved here with his wife, Varsha, to rewild this barren piece of land with native plant species that were degraded or destroyed over the years. So, this is a floodplain area and the, the because floods have been floods are natural phenomena and they will they were they have been keep happening for millions of years and they will be keep happening for coming millions of years but the counter to them in the ecosystem or the landscape were these species like bear and kale it's a very very deep rooted species which would hold the soil it wouldn't allow the liquefaction of the entire landscape so once these were destroyed and this is a very hardwood uh, tree so it burns very slow, it burns for much longer time. So th there were other species such as care and other species which were cut down for making agricultural tools, for burning because of their high calorific value. So the so, so holding capacity of the soil uh, was gone because nobody was holding the soil. Uh, as soon as the floods came, the entire area become like a liquefied area and like the whatever houses were here, the villages were here were completely washed away or destroyed. So these were the species if we want to create a habitat here, if we want to create more human settlements here which are also conducive for other species. These are the species which we would be planting around human houses which would prevent it from the destruction of floods like it happened earlier. So bear, care, khejdi, roheda, these are the species which would protect these habitats in future. So, houses of the future would be having these species. This desert ecosystem came with its own set of challenges. The first one was the presence of a toxic wild plant that has been destroying the native plants for years. So, first thing that we came here, it was like completely infested with Prosopis juliflora. People call it Bawalia here. Bawalia means the mad one, which grows like mad, like it spreads everywhere. And there is no counter of it. So it, it just dominates the entire landscape. It secretes some toxic material which doesn't allow any native grasses or anything to grow. Uh, and that was all. You couldn't walk into this land. It was like that. As soon as we removed it, there was a, there was a specific species of grass that came. People call it Dabra here. And as soon as that species of grass came, we saw weaver birds coming. So you'll see the nest here, right in front of me. There's a whole bunch of colony of weaver birds that come here. And weaver birds make the, their nests only using that grass. So just by removal of non-native species, the ecosystem started to bounce back, it started to come back. 
Maruvan is located in the middle of two saline desert rivers, Mithadi and Luni, none of which are useful for irrigation. A big challenge then was to create a natural water source for this desert forest. Gaurav and Varsha decided to harvest rainwater by digging up a pond around the plantations and use it to keep the soil hydrated around the year. So yeah, so this is the pond that we created and uh, uh, so it was in a way that we wanted to have a network of ponds and canals on this entire land so we don't have to depend on irrigation. Suppose if you see this pond here, the moisture level would be reaching till here. So if we are able to create these kinds of ponds on our site, we would be having several moisture zones and based on that vegetation, we would also be planting and some of the vegetation would also come on their own based on this uh, uh, moisture levels. They also managed to restore an old well that was abandoned by local villagers. The well was rebuilt using limestone, which is commonly used in this region for building homes. While this was critical in creating an alternative water source for Maruvan, it also helped in building trust with the villagers who took the lead in the restoration process. Ma'am, is me, I'm ne chune ka plaster karne ke baad me, I'm is me ek to apn ko pani ka fayda acha milta hai, jo pani hai wo chhan ke aata hai, aur pani bhi acha rehta hai iske andar, aur dusri baad jo bhi hai is me dimag vagera, jo bhi hai kide vagera, is pani me is me nahi lagte, aur chune ke plaster ke baad me, I'm ye bhi pata laga ke iska jo niche wala pani hai, wo andar se apne automatic aa raha hai, niche se kua apna pura kacha hai, upper ka plaster chune ka. Over a span of four years, a forest has regenerated nearly 40 native plant species in this desert ecosystem. They did this by adapting the popular Miyawaki method, a rewilding technique that was invented by the Japanese botanist Akira Miyawaki. What Dr. Miyawaki says is to bring back the potential natural vegetation of that area. And the potential natural vegetation of that a this area is 70% grasses and 30% shrubs. So it's not like if you see a Miyawaki forest in southern region or central India, it would look same here. So the trees or the communities that we have planted, it's like a cluster. So it will be just one tree. Around that there will be 10 to 15 shrubs. Around that there will be uh, 20 to 25 grasses and other seedlings that we'll be planting. So that's how we, we change, so we, uh, that's how it works here. For every cluster of plant species that is grown in Maruvan, nature offers two more around it to boost the spread of the forest. So this is our youngest patch of forest we planted just few months back. This is Indrok. This will grow into a huge tree. It's a giant tree, it's a threatened species and uh, uh, and this is also like few hundreds of them are left in Rajasthan. So this we are planting in the center. So this is the main species. Rest all species around it, they are shrubs. Like these are smaller, uh, they would just grow maximum 10 to 15 feet. A big part of ensuring that the cluster species grow in a more natural formation is by harvesting the right seeds. The seeds are identified and collected mostly by local women who have been specially trained for this purpose. Most of these women realized the value of their work only after seeing the forest flourish in front of their eyes. बीज ओ गांगड़ी का बीज ओ देसी बौंडिया की फलियों है और ओ क्या बोलता है उसको सांगरी है कैरे बियोनी का बीज है बियोनी मैंने बीज बियोनी बियोनी रे में बीज है वही बीज है सारे जोड़ लायो पर कोयले बोले बाबी सारे जोड़ लायो पर कोयले बोले दादी सारे जोड़ लायो पर कोयले बोले दादो Maruvan is now integral with the local community who takes care of it just like they would of their own fields. Varsha, who is the creative head of this project, played a key role in connecting the local women to Maruvan. 
बेसिकली ये मुझे एक आर्ट लगता है यूजफुल बना सकते हैं और कितने कम रिसोर्सेज आप यूज़ कर सकते हो तो हाँ ये एक इन लोगों से उनके साथ रह के उनसे बात करके ये पता चला कि हाँ ये सारी चीज़ें हम खुद कर भी सकते हैं For Gaurav and Varsha, Maruvan is not just an ecological experiment anymore. It is now their home that they've created with their own hands. So this entire sofa that you see here, it's it's basically just the mud that we got on site. So if you just see in the middle, uh, in in inside this, it's a simple mud bricks. Over that, it's a lime plaster. Maruvan is an example of how we can revive destroyed ecosystems and allow them to thrive and counter the effects of climate change. But this approach will only work if we as humans minimize our intervention with nature. Right now we are in, we are in a stage where the most economic decision is also the most ecological decision. So it's not like we'll be sacrificing our economy because this is the cheapest way to restore the lands if you plant these native species native grasslands native shrublands the ecosystem will take care of itself so every single animal here the birds the deers the uh, blue bulls the foxes they are doing to make this place more beautiful Thanks for watching Eco India. If you like the story, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to scroll.in on YouTube.